Okay, and now we are live with commentary here. And thank you to everybody tuning in right now. Of course, this is the Encore Monthly number 15, I believe. Dang, that's a good getting up there. So let's talk about this match in front of us right now. Kenex versus Fat Kids. <laughs> So anyway, this matchup is Kirby versus Sonic. And when I look at this, I immediately think of the exact situation that we're in, which is that kid's a Kirby, a slow character, now has to make a comeback happen against a Sonic. And it's the sort of thing where any character is going to lament having to make that happen. But Kirby specifically, yeah, he couldn't even go for up throw underneath that platform, Cannon City having a taller blast zone. Really helping out Kamex here. This was his counter pick. That kid's took game one. Finally, forward air going to be taking the stock, but that kid's already at 118%. He certainly is scary for him. However, you have to keep in mind that Sonic, at times, can struggle to finish stocks off at the very least. Um, that forward smash is one of his best killing tools. But, like, I mean, this forward smash will kill at, like, <laughs> 90. So, being at 137 doesn't make that much more of a difference. But... I will say that stage positioning F tilt is a monster of a kill move. Kamex looking really good right now, only taking about 42%. And as Sonic can now maintain that lead status, look at that. Oh, he round up that forward smash, hoping that that kid would air dodge through the platform. That kid's not giving it to him, keeps himself alive, but at 70%, already he's been lapped. Things are looking very grim for this little puffball. Ooh. Sneaky down smash can actually be catching the landing. Some nice hits coming out from that hit. The question is whether or not he'll actually be able to convert this I mean, even into a stock, let alone a win. This is a mountain for a actual climb to make this comeback and at least this game two to happen. Granted, because we are, you know, uh, you know, best two out of three, and that kid's took game one. He has a little bit of leeway, you know. Maybe instead of thinking about, okay, what are the habits that I can really start punishing? I love that back air. Her box shifting himself. I just go for the pull down. Go for the, you know, the downwards hit of upbeat. Come on. Even if you lose the game, you'll look like a champ. Okay. Maybe I was a little bit hasty right there because this is certainly not a good situation if you're that kid's. But it is a feasible situation. Although Sonic is generally kind of a hard character to actually edge guard, so there's not really going to be a lot of cheese potential. Back throw, is that going to do it at this percent on a light character like Kirby? It certainly will. We're going to be moving into game three right now. Now, I myself am actually curious as to where we're going to go. Okay, PS2. I can definitely see both. This is probably good for both characters. Um, and you did notice how uh, the the up throw, there was one point where he grabbed him underneath the platform, could have gotten an up throw to kill, but because of the higher blast zone on Time and City, would not, didn't even bother going for it. So, you know, and I actually just looked this up with Sinji beforehand, you know, to make sure of it. This has the same blast zone on the top, at least, as uh, Final Destination. So, it's going to be a little bit easier for her to kill him off the top, and especially underneath those platforms. I mean, I, you know, there's a single kill option, of course, you know. But with Kirby, at times, he can actually struggle to kill. And having access to a thing like a grab to finish off stocks could be a really big difference maker. In the meantime, this game here is kind of been going blow for blow with those blows just barely favoring out that kids. But, ooh, finally gets the suck. I'm actually surprised he went ahead and stole his power. I know that homing attack is pretty neat, um, but the advantage of that, uh, the, the, the Kirby inhale is the fact that when uh, when he's charging up that spin dash, he can actually kind of hold it down. At least it's a little bit tricky for Kamex to get around. Let's see if he can actually use this particular hat. Oh, I like that. Using neutral air to no uh, neutralize that spring. You know, normally that can be an edge guarding tool. I actually, all right, now I see why he went for it. But, oh, a bad trade. That's going to be really rough for that kid. This is similar to what happened in the last game. 
went down a little bit early, and then he could never quite climb back up. Look at this, 117%. If you are that kid, what options can you actually find to kill? Maybe a smash attack? But at this point, not really much beyond that. You're going to have to dish out quite a bit more damage. Okay, 133%. Now things are starting to look a little more, you know, reasonable. Back air can kill. Up throw on that platform. This is what I was talking about. Exactly why this stage is helpful for that, kids. That's the exact situation that last game couldn't even get him the stock. So evening things up right here could be, you know, could keep that kids in this. Kamex, though, does have this lead, and he will be playing to it. Oh, but putting that, you can't play to a lead when you're being comboed at the ledge. Okay, I like this pressure, but it's not quite enough. That kid's still actually able to find these counterattack hits. Man, that down B, it looks, it looks like a juicy option to get back down to the ground at least a little bit. But he's, you know, he has to throw, uh, cancel it pretty early because that Kamex has shown he will go up there and punish him for leaving it. Now that kid's at 122%. This is where things are scary there. Definitely confirms getting, uh, I think, Spin Dash into forward air off stage could definitely take a stock in a point like this. Oh, but right in his face! Getting little nicks, bits of damage here or there, but that's gonna be another one of those. To confirm into the up air, Kamek's taking that stock very comfortably, only at 59%. And once more, if you're that kid, you have to do a lot of damage. You might have to once again get him up to about 133, 134, and then grab him underneath the platform. Or you could just up smash, that almost did it outright, but... Good. <laughs> the town and city, or sorry, rather the PS2 ceiling is still not that tiny. Oh, but it doesn't matter. That up smash is going to kill from anywhere. That was actually a major stock pickup from that kid. I mean, really impressive he managed to land two of those up smashes. Hammocks maybe not respecting that particular option. And this is where it's actually starting to really pay, pay off for uh, that kid. 49% already on Kamex, and look at this! You know, Kirby with his multiple jumps does mean that he can, at least when that spin dash is charging up, you know, jump into the air and maybe go for, you know, following him, find some kind of mix-up. Oh, these trades back and forth are actually working out for that kids, because once more, we've seen that once he gets him to around 130, 140 range, that's when those grabs can start killing, but Kamex playing way more patient right now. You see these spin dashes, and just trying to find a proper opening. That kid's struggling to actually chase him down. This is where that movement speed from Kirby can actually be bad. I like that. Inhales him and doesn't do the suck up this time. Realizing that it's still really good to have access to that uh, that command grab. Ooh, that forward smash. I felt like if that kid had been prepared, he maybe could have gone down there and reacted with a down air or some kind of punish. Oh, but now these combos are starting to come in clutch for Kamex, just getting damage. And look at that, shielding in his face. He doesn't even get anything off of it. Yeah, this is where that mix-up game ends up being really difficult. Oh, the forward air. I don't know how many jumps he has left. Probably it's just enough, but it's just enough to put him in the exact situation where Kamex can just go down there and forward air him. Good stuff to Kamex. You saw that once he, once he got up smash twice, in that second to last stock, he realized, okay, there are things I need to be doing to.